Hey, Caroline? I got something born to talk to you about. Got time? Yeah, sure. What's up, Ethan? Caroline, what do you think about a relationship? I mean, going forward. Like, about marriage? Huh? Marriage? Uh, are you proposing? Yeah, well, if you want to think of it as such, go ahead. What if I did propose right now? How would you take it? Would you be happy? Of course, I would be overjoyed. Okay, great. And if we did get married, and I asked you to quit your job, how would you respond? Huh? Why do you want to know that? Well, you see, I'm going back to my parents' place soon. You know, that my folks run a small business, right? Yeah, they run a small company or something. You did mention that, as I recall. Yes. Well, I'm going to have to take over the company in the future. So, if we are to get married, I would prefer if you quit your job and come back home with me. Hold on. That company... I thought your older brother Jonah was going to take over. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But it seems Jonah eloped with some girl. And so I was left to take over the reins. Can't you just decline? Do you want to take over the family business? If I decline, there's nobody left to take over. At least not family. Ever since I was a kid, I was envious of my brother. It was always the one that my folks had in mind to take over someday. So, actually, I welcome it. Well, at least you're not being forced into it, but quitting my job and moving into your folks' place, I don't know. Not really that inclined, huh? Caroline, you don't want to really live with my folks? No, it's not that. My current job, it's what I wanted to do for so long. I worked so hard to get this job. I really don't want to quit. Yeah, I get it. Well, then that's that. Let's break up. Huh? Break up? Like, go our separate ways? If you don't want to quit and come with me, there is no other option but to part ways, right? Okay, so I guess that's it. Huh? Just like that? We've been going out for almost six years. But you have no intention of coming with me. If you don't quit and come with me, how can we get married? No use bickering about it. Yeah, I guess, but just the way you say it. And also, if you won't go through with it, I have to inform everyone. What do you mean everyone? Yeah, I was back home last week. You remember. Well, when I was there, my folks introduced me to this local girl. Met her. She seemed nice. Introduced you? Like a matchmaking thing? You went on a date with some girl? Isn't that, like, cheating? Huh? No, 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 no. It's not cheating. I'm not going out with her or anything. Just met and talk. That's all. All we did was have dinner a couple of times and, you know, but she does seem to have taken a liking to me. Her family is serious about it, too. Are you serious? So if I refuse, you just switch to another girl. Is that it? I don't understand your logic, TBH. What am I? Like a substitute? A backup or something? That's really insulting. I'm not insulting you. It's just that she's the daughter of one of our longtime customers. They're quite affluent, and they would be a major asset to our company. Of course, that would mean I would also be pretty well off. My folks are adamant that I get married to her, but I had you, so I didn't quite know what I should do. And like you, she is very beautiful. There's nothing I can criticize her for. <laughs> huh? Are you for real? You have a girlfriend and you go on a date? Comparing the two of us as if we're cattle or something. So, all these years, it was all just superficial. All outward appearance. No, I didn't mean to sound that way. Did I piss you off? I'm really sorry. You really have no idea, do you? Forget it. Do as you like. Let's just break up. You do whatever you have to do. Seriously? Are you okay with it? I'm really sorry. And I'm sure you'll find a great guy, Caroline. I hope you find happiness. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the wonderful six years of nothing. Goodbye. Hey, Caroline. It's been a while, huh? How are you? Can we talk? I can't believe everyone! 
You remember my brother that eloped, right? Well, he's back! My folks are planning to reinstate him as president of the company! Can you believe it? On top of that, he plans to move in with his wife and kids. So my folks want me to move out of the house and find a place of my own. I've been preparing all this time to eventually take over for my father. And was the one supporting the whole family. But once my brother shows his face here after all these years, it's all about him again. Don't you think it's pathetic? How could they? Hey, Caroline? Are you there? Uh, I'm at work now. I would appreciate it if you would stop with the non-stop trash talk. Talking to me like nothing happened between us? What is this anyway? Our relationship ended a long time ago. Yeah, all true. Not my girlfriend anymore. I know. But you could listen a little to my grievances, right? Huh? Why do I have to even listen to your grievances? Go to your folks or your wife for God's sake. Yeah, I know, but as I said, my folks are on my brother's side as usual. When I talk about moving out of the house, well, it seems my wife has been having an affair. She took the kid with her to her lover's place. That's why I'm stuck here at home. Really nowhere to go. They are set on making my brother the president of the company, so I'm no longer needed. Don't you think it's a horrible situation? I really don't care, TBH. Why should I even care what goes on with your family or your personal affairs? Yeah, that's why I contacted you. I'm thinking of getting a divorce. I realize that a rich girl is too headstrong. Just not suitable for me. I plan to get a divorce, quit this job, and move back to the city. I don't want anything to do with my family anymore. At least on business matters. Oh, really? Do what you want to do. Uh, Caroline, do you want to get back together again? I mean, start over? Huh? My folks pushed me to get married, but I could not get you out of my mind. Caroline, I kept thinking I should have just rejected my parents' pleas to take over the company and get married to that... that... and get married to you! All this time, I regretted my decision. So, Caroline, let's get married! Uh, I'm already married, and I got two kids. Huh? You seem to have it in your tiny little head that I've been single all these years. How many years do you think have passed since we broke up? I got married four years ago, and my kids are three and one. You can't be serious. But you said you'd be overjoyed to marry me. But you... you didn't wait for me? Why did you go and marry some other guy? That was before you went back to your parents' place and got married. Besides, I can't believe you thought I would wait for you. Are you nuts? So you expected me to wait until you got divorced. What am I, your faithful little puppy? Wasn't it you who said I would find a nice guy? You do remember that, right, Ethan? Yeah, I suppose I did, but you could have at least told me. I wasn't even invited to your wedding. Oh yeah, right. Invite my ex-boyfriend to my wedding. Sounds wonderful. And besides, we're not friends. But I was all set on making up with you. I was going to dump my folks and my wife and kid and come back to you. Are you going to stab me in the back too? What am I going to do when my folks kick me out? Don't ask me. And stop trying to blame me for everything. I have nothing to do with you anymore. And you want to know the truth? It's super annoying. Why me? Why does this have to happen to me? That brother of mine comes whimpering back. My parents accept him without a second thought and kick me out. My stupid wife takes the kid and shacks up with her lover. And you, Caroline, you up and get married. And have kids? This is a total shit show. Uh, what's the use of blabbering about it here? I feel sorry for you that your folks forced you into this, but you just left all that stuff to the last minute. And the fact that you met a prospective bride without my knowledge and then switched over? Besides, you're the one who decided to go back home, marry and take over the family business. It's all you're doing. So stop relying on others and get your shit together and do something about it. If you got qualms about your brother taking over the business, well, then just talk to your folks about it. Convince them. If you want to get divorced, take her to a court or whatever. Uh, I couldn't do that. Oh, so you can say whatever you like to me, but not to your folks? When you split up with me, you were pretty firm about your decision. But I was young back then. I don't have that kind of energy anymore. And maybe my brother will just suddenly leave. Okay, I've had enough. No use talking here. A complete waste of time. I'm busy. Gonna hang up. 
and I'm going to block you. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Huh? Why would you block me? I'm not even your friend. I really don't have time to waste with an indecisive, wish-washy guy like you. You don't have second thoughts about dumping me. But when you get dumped, you get all panic-stricken. So lame. You're pathetic. What do you mean by that? What did I do that was so wrong? What am I supposed to do now? Work it out yourself, for God's sake. You're really getting on my nerves. I'll tell you one thing. I am so happy I did not marry a pathetic coward like you. Best decision of my life. See ya. Please, hold on a second. Caroline! I later heard that he stayed on at his parents' home, didn't even get divorced. He apparently decided to help his brother as one of the company employees. However, after his brother took over as president, he evidently accumulated a huge debt, embezzled company funds, and disappeared. As a result, Ethan got promoted to the president, but he was not able to cover the huge debt. The banks dropped him, employees quit one after the other. His wife asked for a divorce, and even his parents gave up and took off. Ethan was on a sinking ship ready to go under at any moment. I am sorry that his family used him like that, but it's his own fault. He was not forceful enough or confident enough in the way he handled everything. Oh well. Hey sis, how was mom? You went to the house today, right? Um, she still needs more time. But she tried to act cheerful. I thought it was something like that. I also thought she seemed to put on a brave face when I called her today. It's been less than a week since Dad's funeral. It can be helped. Well, you're right. Father was so healthy, but suddenly he found sick. He passed away so quickly. It's sad, but I don't feel it yet. I feel the same way. I can't believe he's gone. I know, but I don't know. I know, right? But I'm worried about Mom. She's spending so much time alone at home when she's so scared, right? But I have work in childcare. It's not good to say we need to help each other in these situations. I'll ask my husband to take care of the house a little more, and I'll go to my parents' house. That would make it harder for you, wouldn't it? But it's hard for you to go to parents' house, isn't it? I have to go. Actually, I'm thinking about something. What's in your mind? I'm thinking to leave his mom. Really? Isn't it quite too far away from your husband's workplace? If he commutes from my parents' house, it would take about two hours, right? What are you talking about? We'll move out after he quit my job. He'd get a job near my parents' house. What? You're going to ask him to quit his job for us? I think that's too much to ask. He has been thinking about changing jobs. So, it's convenient for me too. Is that so? So, is he agreed to live together too? He said yes right away. I'm a terrible cook. He was happy to finally have a decent meal. But I don't think it's easy to live together. Even the rhythm of life is different and both sides have to take care of each other, don't they? Don't worry about it. Daniel doesn't care about that. But I'm sure mom does. She's the type of person who pays extra attention. But well, I'm her daughter, so... You are, but... I think he is different. Even though we become a family, he only met a few times. If I were a mom, I'd be a little confused. If mom is okay with it, then it's fine, right? Well, yeah, but... You know, when I called her today, mom was pretty much on board with the idea. You've already talked to her? I didn't serious about it and like it casually. Maybe she think it, I'm joking. Maybe she does. But she is saying that she cannot stay desperate forever and that it might be nice to have a change in environment. I'm sure that she will be lonely by herself. That may be true, but well, I can say anything about it. I mean, you and mom are the ones who say living together. Yes, yes, we will discuss it between us. But I'm surprised you don't think about moving in with her. Well, I didn't think about living together. I was thinking of a multi-generational house or living in a neighborhood at least. It would be more stress-free, right? It might take time to get used to it at first. But I'm sure we would get used to it eventually. 
You're just as caring as a mom, aren't you, sis? I think you just don't care too much. I wish you could call me generous, but I can't believe you care so much about mom. You've grown up, haven't you? Well, I'm 30 now. I'm grown up. We were arguing just recently. That was a few years ago, right? We are not like that anymore. Yes, we are. I guess marriage has settled us down. I guess so. So leave it to me this time. I'll take your mom. Love's mom. Is everything going well? Yes, everything is fine and we're having a good time. She cooks me delicious meals every day. Hey, don't make mom do all the housework, okay? I know. But I think she should keep herself busy for now. It's easier to forget about things when she's busy. Maybe. You're right, but... Oh, yeah. What about the inheritance? Aren't you going to discuss it? I think she said we'll discuss it after a 49th day memorial service. That's almost there. Why didn't she do it sooner? Dad has siblings. You know, if we talk about money too early, some people think that's not a good idea. I see. Like dad's sister Aunt Zoe? I didn't say anything. I don't like her. She's pricky and pricky and not nice at all. She used to make you cry too. I don't even want to remember that. I only finished my housework and played with you. She used to yell at me for being stupid and playing around instead of studying. To be honest, I'm not very good with her either. But then, isn't it creepy that she's going after a fortune? I wouldn't call her creepy, but well, I guess a lot is going on. It seems that was taken care of by Aunt Zoe. Hmm? I wouldn't want anything to do with someone like Dad. She's a big sister for Dad. She's got things we don't know about. But I wonder if Mom is okay. Aunt Zoe is, is so bossy and seems to hold back on talking about a legacy. I'll have to protect her. Not too much. We just have to follow the law. Oh, sorry. I should get back to work. Okay. Well, take care of mom. You can talk to me if you have any question about living together. Hey, what's going on? Oh, mom, did she go there after all? What do you mean after all? Hey, is it true what mom said? Did you tell her that get out of that Wait, disturbing old lady and then kick her out? Because it's really disturbing. What? She interferes with us in all kinds of ways. She said if we argued, she would have to end our cohabitation, you know? Well, she has no idea why we live together and what we're doing for her. Things because Daniel doesn't work, right? I don't think he'll find a job anytime soon. He wasn't even looking for a job, was he? Maybe I could give him a little break, right? Maybe if you had some extra money. You said you wouldn't even pay for your living expenses, right? Then I guess it's no wonder your mother is complaining. We live in my parents' house and we live together with them. So why should we pay for it? What? Usually, no one wants to live with an old person, right? But we live in with her. She should be grateful. You suggested to mom living together with you, didn't you? Mom didn't ask you to live with. Even so, mom decided to live with me, wasn't she? Why are you blaming us? What? Are you seriously saying that? Oh yeah, I just had a great idea. We'll take the house so you can have mom. What? We discussed it at the legacy meeting the other day. You know? You and I had almost nothing to get from it, right? Well... But mom is kind of like dad's legacy somehow, right? He left her behind. So now we have half of dad's legacy. I get a house, you get a mom. That's how it going to work out, right? I see. That's great, thanks. What? Is this the part where I make you happy? 
But, well, you are happy with it. Yes, if mom come, I'd be more than happy. So, you don't want the house? It's a big place. I could sell it for a lot. And you said you don't want to live together, right? I would definitely prefer mom over the house. To be frank, their house isn't even worth nothing comparing to mom's. The done deal then. Tell mom that. Give me the paperwork as soon as possible. I'll decide what to do with it, depending on the price. What do you mean? If it sells for more than I expected, I'll sell it right away. So I thought I'd play around with it for a while and live with it. You know, if I go overseas where the cost of living is lower, it costs less than living here, right? I'm thinking of taking a vacation with Daniel. You're too optimistic. We love our freedom. Do whatever you want and I don't care what happens to you. If you ask for help later, I won't do anything. It's okay, I will get the money. Don't tell me you want the house later, sister. If you beg me, I will never give it to you. I will never give it to you. Hey sis! Aunt Zoe moved into our house. I see. What do you mean by I see? Do you know anything about it? And Zoe said that this house is hers. That's right. What? My parents' house was half of Aunt Zoe's property. What? I don't get it. What's going on? Technically, the land belongs to Aunt. Dad built the house. What? Aunt Zoe used to be a very rich woman. She lent the land to Dad when he was newly married. And? You see, Dad's inheritance was not as much as you thought, right? Even Mom didn't get much. So I'm sure Aunt Zoe wanted a house too. But it's too late for that. It was my dad who built the house. The house. The house doesn't belong to Aunt Zoe, right? That's right, but... Dad borrowed some money when he built the house. The other day, she came to me with an IOU and wanted Mom to give her the house. What's that? She didn't say anything during the inheritance discussion. Aunt Zoe only had a soft side for Dad, right? She was still pretty depressed when she talked. I think she finally got over it a bit and went back to being the usual obnoxious Aunt Zoe, did she? Because her brother's father passed away. I guess she wanted to get rid of mom and make it her own. Isn't that too selfish? Can you say that? That's exactly what she did to mom. Hey, what should I do in this case? Can I kick Aunt Zoe out too? Why don't you pay her back the money that borrowed from her instead? Where do I have that kind of money? Then it will be difficult, right? Instead of giving up the house, mom was supposed to have paid off the debt. I don't get it. Do something about it. My aunt told me to be her housekeeper and she wants me to pay rent if we are going to live in a house. Well, she's nothing wrong with it. And Zoe is talking over the house. You said you give it to me. I said I didn't want the house. Do something about Aunt Zoe now. You don't care what happens to your parents' house? It's not my parents' house anymore. Where mom is like my parents' home. Get along with Aunt Zoe. How can I be nice to someone like that? You know, she's that kind of person who used to bully mom around and make her temporarily neurotic. If we live with her, we'll go crazy. You kicked mom out, so you should be fine. I can't have a conversation with that person. She's that kind of person who will do whatever she thinks is right. She won't listen to anybody. I'm sure it's the same with you. You've been playing around, not working all the time. When you run out of money, you did steal from your parents' house. In addition, you suddenly reported that you got married and borrowed money on some occasions from your parents after the marriage, didn't you? I was going through a lot at the time. And then you kicked mom out of the house and tried to take over. You and Aunt Zoe are of the same kind in my opinion. Don't put me in the same category as that woman. Yeah, you're right. Aunt Zoe has some personality issues, but she wasn't in debt or anything. She was kind to her brother's father. She's not the kind of person who would kick out her parents. What should I do? How can I get my parents' house back from her? I have no idea. Sis, help me. We're sisters. 
You are worse than Aunt Zoe. You won't help your sister. I told you, didn't I? I don't care what happens to you. That was... Things were different then. It doesn't matter. Mom and I won't get involved in my parents' affairs anymore. If you can give up, go ahead and fight Aunt Zoe. Actually, Daniel doesn't work at all. He gets a job and quits right away and repeats it over and over again. That's why we don't have any money. If we don't have a place to live, we'll be in real trouble. Even if that's the case, it's none of my business. You moved in with mom on your terms and kicked her out on your terms. I wouldn't help someone who wanted to sell the house and play with the money. I'm sorry. I'll apologize to mom too. Please help me. We don't have the money to move out. Why don't you both work and save up? You shouldn't have moved in to live with mom in the first place. That's your punishment for trying to take over their house. Sis, please. Please lend me some money. Just a little. I really can't live with Aunt Zoe. I won't give you a penny, a penny of my inheritance. You don't need my help either. You said that first, didn't you? That's why I won't do anything. You're not family anymore. Please take care of Aunt Zoe and Dad's negative legacy. Since then, my sister has been living with Aunt Zoe and she seems to be working her like a slave every day. Furthermore, her husband, Daniel, got tired of living with Aunt Zoe. He met her girlfriend outside and left home. My sister is currently in the process of discussing her divorce with Daniel and being treated by Aunt Zoe at home. She seems to be quite a wreck, both mentally and physically. However, there is nothing I can do to help her. She has asked for our help many times, but neither mom nor I have any intention of helping her. I hope that she regrets what she deserved and sorry for what she has done. And my mom lived with my family for a while. After everything settled down, she rented a room to live alone in an apartment near my house. I think she misses her husband, but she's believed to be free from Aunt Zoe. Me and mom, we eat together a couple times a week and also go out for a little trip sometimes. We spend peaceful days together and make lots of happy memories to make my mom miss him a little less. I want to support her in her relaxed retirement.